So you you guys know that A10 I was talking about a long time ago. Well, I have it done. Oh, anyway, uh, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be showcasing my heavily motor locked A10 Warthog. Now I did I did borrow the nose design from my friend. I don't I don't think he has you. Wait, let me. I don't. I don't know if he has a YouTube channel. I yeah. I don't think he does. But yeah, he let he let me use the nose design that on his. Uh, but anyway. Well, just like just like the last showcase. Um, I'll I'll be starting from front to back, and then we'll be flying it. So we have the nice Gao Eight. When when I get in the uh, pilot seat, I'll sh I'll show you the 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 authentic noise. In. So, and we got we got the nice teeth here. Um. Yeah, this is this is I I like the I like the teeth design on the A10. But anyway, here we have the nose. You see that uh, I use angle lock. To get this nice, this nice, this, ah, this nice angle here, and um, let, let me let me know if you guys want a, um an updated tutorial on angle lock, because I'll I'll be happy to do that. Here we have the cockpit. I I went through a lot of design changes for this just to make it look good, but I managed to do it somewhat. You know we we don't talk we don't talk about the tri tip anyway. Um, I I wanted to add cockpit instrument. I wanted to add cockpit instruments. I'm I might I might add cockpit instruments in a future showcase. I might uh, show a, an upgraded version of this. But yeah, I definitely could use some uh, cockpit design in there. It's kind of empty right now. So here we have this. See this. This is very, very hard to lock without this coming out of here. And then it leaving a gap. Yeah, I'll show you how I motor lock it uh, after the flying showcase um here we have the the wings i'm still i'm still working on designs for the wings but none of them has been really successful so far and then we got the gear i'm i'm thinking about adding gear doors that's that's one of that's one of my many uh things to do list on on my anyway um here we have a you know I don't really know what they're called why did my voice just stop there like my brain just completely so anyway uh we have the bomb holder thingy I'm not really go think I'm gonna put any use into this. Because I don't really know how I'm going to hook a bomb on here without complete... Maybe I'll do some more motor lock. But I, I can't I can't add, a, add any of them here. Because this motor locks this under here. I'll, I'll come up with a fix for it. Comment down below uh, what you want me to do for the A10. Anyway, we have motor locked uh, engines here. Uh, the only the front here, in this back, this is a, um, 2x2, so it's really hard to center it. So I used a, some motor lock, which you can see here, to get it centered like that. And then, yeah, we have this, that just adds the general shape. I'll link the 3D model I used into the, in the description. No, I don't know what this here is. Of course, I haven't looked at the A10 in a while. So. 
I, I wanted to have custom wing panels, but they kept getting stuck, so I had to replace them with normal ones, normal control surfaces. So that, that kind of sucks. But anyway, let's get on to fly. Man, I have to fix this trail, bro. It's... You know, I'm gonna do it right now. <laughs> Alright, I did it. So, now we can actually see. So, this thing, this thing really sucks at flying. It needs to go on, it needs to go on 30 gravity to actually be able to fly. Because I'm not able to put it... To, uh, to provide enough, uh, wings. <laughs> I can't speak, man. Anyway, I, I can't get a, enough, uh, control surface, surfaces, uh, to actually, you know, provide enough lift. And the nose always droops down, like, very, very, very far. So I I hope I hope the this oversized missile doesn't hit me while I take off. Oh, you All right, let's throttle up. And up up away. So, here's the sound I promised. Very sad. So let's just <laughs> Uh, this thing's kind of slow at turning, but I wanted I wanted to make it realistic, you know, and not just like every single plane everyone makes. What what is this one? <coughs> you know, let me open. <coughs> okay, we made it. So yeah, in PvP there's a gun you can see right there. Uh I mean that's that's pretty much all I have to offer in this showcase. Almost forgot to show the locking. So here here, <laughs> here we have the first part of the two wings. And then uh here's the gear, the gearbox. That motor locks down to here, and then here's the turning bits all the way up there. So here's here's how I did the nose right here. Got some stuff. Got something stuck in my mouth. I don't know why I couldn't say it. Anyway, um, yeah, we have two two strains of motor lock here that go together and then form the beautiful nose you see. Man, this thing's so ugly without the locking. Like, look at this. Anyway, so here's here's how I get the locking so precise. Uh, so here here's the ankled cockpit. Oh, I had too many Doritos. So anyway, yeah, it's I had to go through a lot of design just to get it to work good, at least decently. And then here's the front gear, motor locks down to here, and then another. Here's the, uh, shout out to Matt, the Mad Vulpin. I met him. I'll leave my Discord in the description where I, uh, posted a picture of me meeting him. But here's how I did the window mesh. Uh, uh I got taught by Mad Vulpin in his tutorial on how to do it, but I kind of did my own way, in somewhat. Not really, act. So here's the gun. That's not, that's not the Gao 8, and then the gun here, itself. Now, I had to go through so many problems just to get the front gear to fold in. Like, there's, like, dude, there was like, there used to be so much motor lock here, but then I had to simplify it just so I could fit the gear. It was... It took two hours just to figure it out. 
And I, I don't even remember how I fig- Anyway, so here's the engines. They're just these engines. And then another engine here. And then- Oh man, I'm so tired! <laughs> anyway. Uh... Yeah, I know this video is really long, but, uh, if, you, if you're watching to the end, make sure to comment, and at least like the video. I'm not, I'm not asking for a subscribe or anything, just at least like the video. And I want to get, I want to get to 50 subscribers by the end of the month, and then I'll show off something very special. Anyway, yeah. It takes four hover thrusters just to get this thing going to 150 at least. Or I mean 350 at least. With the help of- with some of the help of these. These are probably why the nose goes- Bonus footage of me trying to lock it. You see, I don't think it'll work. I think these are gonna get stuck. When I lock everything. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> what? Nothing happened. Don't worry, man. Nothing happened. See, the gear are fine. Anyway, uh... Bye. I don't, I don't know what I'm...